ladies and gentlemen. NEO 2024 infrastructure growth lags, relying on partnerships for swap stations while focusing on cost control and Gen 4 technology deployment. So folks, NEO might miss its target, and this is happening for good reasons due to partnerships and reduced cash burn. By the end of 2023, NEO had a total of 2,316 swap stations, with 1,011 added in 2023 alone, achieving their target of 1,000 new swap stations for the year. Mission accomplished. They also had 2049 power fast chargers by the end of 2023. This is a significant achievement. Now, during NEO Day, which was at the end of last year, we set a target for 2024 to add another 1 in swap stations bringing the total to 3D300, and to add over 20,000 new chargers, making it a total of over 24 wind chargers. How is their progress so far? Well, most of 2024 has passed. By the end of July 2024, they had 2,458 swap stations and 2,917 powered chargers. This means that by July 2024, they had only added 142 new swap stations, which is just 14.2% of the target, whereas it should have been around 50%. In terms of chargers, they added 1,868 new chargers, which is only 9.34%, whereas it should also be around 50%. Is NEO deliberately missing its target? What is going on? Let's look at March 2024, when they had their Q4 2023 earnings conference call. During this call, Tina Hall, an analyst from Goldman Sachs, asked, Can you provide us with CAPEX guidance for 2024? What are your expectations for CAPEX and swapping infrastructure CAPEX? Stanley Shu, Senior Vice President of Finance, responded, Hi Tina, yes, we will be controlling our CAPEX investment in 2024. We have already cancelled or delayed some projects with payback periods longer than two to three years. This year CAPEX will be significantly lower compared to 2023. We will leverage the resources of our business partners for deploying power swap stations, as William mentioned in previous statements. This means we will not be utilizing our resources to build that network. We will not utilize our own resources. Yes, we won't use our own resources to build the power swap stations network. This means that resources from others will be used and we will rely on others to fund the swap stations. As mentioned previously in the conference call, we'll highlighted that we have partnerships with energy companies like Sinopec and Petrokina for the construction of power swap stations, and with China's Southern Power Grid for energy storage and swap stations. Overall, NEO is quite good at partnering with its industry peers. When competition is inevitable, we want to see how we can navigate this intense competition from a business perspective, which means NEO is outsourcing a significant amount of work. Companies like China Southern Power Grid, Petrokina, Sinopec, and local and provincial governments are helping in the construction of swap stations. We also know that the Hefei government has promised to build 1,000 new swap stations in Anhui province by 2025. This implies that NEO is reducing its CAPEX significantly. We observe that the deployment of swap and charging stations is slowing down, but it seems intentional to make space for those who have committed to building swap stations. Additionally, it's possible that Gen 4 swap stations are just becoming available from the factory, and these energy companies will need time to purchase, deploy, assemble, and make them available. NEO has also shared some mind-blowing statistics on their app. Recently, NEO completed 50 million swaps, which is quite amazing. Along with this, they have shared some other impressive information. First, battery swapping has provided 2.62 billion kilowatt hours of electricity so far. It's truly remarkable how much power NEO has supplied to all its owners. Most importantly, it's a tremendous time saver with nearly 2.85 billion minutes saved. On average, each NEO owner has saved about 85 hours. I know this personally because I've done over 250 swaps myself. I've saved more than six or seven days compared to traditional charging. When it comes to cost savings, compared to gasoline, 20.3 billion RMB has been saved, 
and each NEO owner has saved approximately 36,000 RMB compared to gas vehicles. Now, consider the time it took to achieve this monumental milestone. It took 1506 days to reach the first 10 million swaps, then only 273 days to achieve the next 10 million. The following 10 million swaps took just 189 days, and the next 10 million were accomplished in 157 days. Recently, the last 10 million swaps were completed in just 144 days. We're seeing that the swapping rate is increasing rapidly, which clearly shows that swapping is becoming extremely popular. Swapping is a lifeline for NEO, it's its essence. It's what makes NEO special and is its unique selling point. It's the most crucial aspect for NEO, and I'm deliberately slowing down the deployment of swap stations to give partners more time to utilize their resources to build these stations. Indeed, this is a wise move because building swap stations is very costly. Each station costs approximately 1 million RMB. Partner energy companies and governments have substantial funds invested in the development of these swap stations. While these companies own the swap stations, NEO operates them and integrates them into the network. These energy companies purchase the swap stations for energy storage and grid stabilization purposes. However, they also serve a dual purpose, allowing these companies to earn some profit and revenue from NEO battery swaps. These stations are like the gas stations of the future, but with far more capabilities. Although we are still far from our 2024 targets, having achieved only 14.2% of swaps and 9.34% of chargers, we anticipate that these numbers could see a dramatic increase in the last months of this year as partners deploy new swap stations and Gen 4 swap stations come online. NEO 2024 target to add 1,000 new swap stations and over 20,000 chargers is progressing slowly, with only 14.2% of swap stations and 9.34% of chargers added by July. This delay appears strategic, as NEO is leveraging partnerships with energy companies like Sinopec and Petrokina to reduce CAPEX by outsourcing infrastructure development. The focus is on the long-term sustainability of the network, with partners handling the costly build-out while NEO operates and integrates the stations. Despite the slower pace, NEO battery swapping service remains a core strength with over 50 million swaps completed and significant cost and time savings for users. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.